How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly for those of you that are new here and I decided that today would be the day that I would finally share my guided personal development journal. I initially filmed and spoke a little bit about the um, my setup for this um, on November the 13th and I posted a video live. I will link that below. Um, regarding my Hopanichi cousin and this Rotorfaden Taishin Begleiter journal and that I was going to use it in this way. So I have been using it and so I have flushed out a system that has been working for me and I thought I would go ahead and share. Um, this is just so happens to be my pen pouch. It's um, the Superior Labor Co. in yellow. And then I have just several different pens. I've been really into this as of late to make the various headers, the Sharpie S gel. They're very inexpensive, so I thought I would make mention of that. Um, but you don't need anything but a notebook and a pen to do a setup like this. So the books that I chose to use are these three books and then I use this basically as a loose guide to give me some ideas to set up um, this journal and I found them very useful and maybe you will too. So I thought I would go ahead and share them. The first one is Self Love Workbook for Women release self-doubt, build self-compassion, and embrace who you are. And that is by Megan Logan, MSW, LCSW. So I really love this book. I'll just show you a little bit of it. Um, you can Xerox these pages and use them, or you can write in the book. But there are a lot of different exercises um, like this one I'll share. Five minute self-love hacks. Connect with nature and breathe. Listen closely. Self-soothe through touch. Just there is a whole myriad of ideas in this book. So I've been enjoying these books as of late. Now these took me, this I got off of Amazon. So I will link it below. These two I got and they came separately and they took a really long time to arrive, you know, um, from Book Depository. So Note to Self by Rebecca Bala, The Secrets of Calm. And she happens to be, I do believe, from New Zealand. I had some friends from New Zealand when I used to live in Hawaii. So um, I really like... Um, you know different cultures and people from New Zealand or at least the ones that I knew were really fun um, very kind people so this is the first book and then it has a companion and this is the note to self journal this one actually came second um, so I will give you a sneak peek of some of the things in here Wait, I really think this is quite a lovely book. So just opening it to read it. It's a really fast, easy read. Um, it's very appealing. And she is pretty much all-inclusive, as you can see. Um, so I really like that aspect of it. So here is an example. You can put your hand on your heart, and it's a breathing meditation. Place your hand over your heart on a deep inhale say i am loved on a long exhale say my heart is safe so that is just one example of some of her techniques that she uses so i do love the fact that she is all inclusive so there are just this book is chock a box full and it's just gorgeous i really really highly recommend it and then here is the companion book um, for a lot of different practices that you can do. So let me 
and if you have the chance by all means I would definitely check her out. This is one of the practices that I did decide to incorporate so I'll just go over what I have chosen to use. This one happened to come first so I used this one initially for quite a few of the things. Any, I mean when I go to like Barnes and Noble I usually hit I always have called it just the self-help aisle I love 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 um, personal development I always have for years and years so that is the section I'm always drawn to that in the cookbooks um, I love inter and intrapersonal relationships I love sociology so anyway this is right up my alley so um, this is my Rotofada and Teshen Begleiter and like I said November the 13th is when I shared that I was going to keep my Hobonichi Cousin in this beautiful green olive green suede leather notebook and I've ordered from them before I will link that video below highly recommend I did not actually order from the website otherwise I would have had it um, personalized with my monogram or something but anyway, um, if you're interested in um, me talking about and going over the notebook, you can check out that video if you're interested. So, and since then, there are other YouTubers here um, that I noticed after that they are also putting their Hobonichi cousin in their Rotofaden. So I'm glad I inspired other people to do that. That makes me happy. But in any event, I um, decided to put these two folders in here in case I have any handouts or notes or things that I happen to print off the internet um, or Xerox out of my books or what have you. See, so these are the Hobonichi folders. I just have some um, different papers in there and I put it in this big pocket. And then over here I just have Kita and then some page flags because I like to flag and these are the thinner ones if you can see that I flag everything I I'm just a flagger what can I say <laughs> I like to reference things and then go back and re-reference them so here is my Hobonichi cousin and then in this back pocket I'll just show you quickly I just have let's see a notebook a pad of paper rather simple and then I have these other flags these are from Hobonichi so just thought I would share that okay and then I just have my Hobonichi cousin in a cover on cover MD I'll link those below if anyone is interested and here we go I used I'm a follower of Allie Edwards I do one little word I have I think this is my fourth or fifth year um, so I get her kits as well her other kits um, and so I chose some just different quotes that I really appreciate healing is less about saving or fixing and more about allowing ourselves to ease into remembering that there's a wholeness that has been there all along and that is a quote by Emmanuel Dogger Daher and then I just put different stickers like personal development I just so happen to find that sticker since this is a my guided personal development journal so love that and then let's go see the back just more plaid paper got this off of Amazon I love plaid all year long and then I added some other papers um, to the back and then here as you can see I am um, put copy paper over all of this and because I can't read Japanese so I wanted to utilize the pages so I just plastered all kind of quotes positive quotes and affirmations self-care reminders so that way I have just something positive to look at that is what I have done know your worth love that okay 
Okay, more paper. And then I used um, Shine Sticker Studio stickers for the calendars. And then I put a sticker here that says you are enough. And then a little clip here. Um, I will, these are the mini clips and I love them. So I will link those below if anyone's interested. And then this is my year on what's it, four pages? Yeah. So I did this much the same as I did my other Hobonichis this year. And I took copy paper and I covered up the Japanese and I put the days of the week and the corresponding dates here so I could utilize the space better. And I was using it in one way, this space, and then I changed my mind and started using it in a different way. So this says self-compassion meter. So it was based off of one of the practices in this book. Um, and just as it says, um, and it has a bunch of quotes. But since I'm not doing that and I've changed my system, I will share this one. And I am doing the body gratitude. So what you do is you just note something every day that shows either gratitude, forgiveness, accept, acceptance, compassion, or love. And then you just jot it down right there. So that's how I'm utilizing this now. Um, I decided to make a change for that one section. And then this I can use as an index. And I haven't noted anything down yet that really stood out, but I wanted the space to be able to do that. Um, so it would be easily accessible. The year has just begun, so um, I thought that would be a useful way. And then these stickers up here for the um, months are just from an old sticker book that I had on hand. Basically, I didn't have to buy any date stickers because I had them all on hand from um, Hobby Lobby. So that is how I did that. This is the old way I was using it with the self-compassion meter or self-worth meter from this that book I showed you. So, um, And then I have a teardrop here, rose gold paper clip, and that is covering up basically um, December and January because this is very private information. So I thought I would share how I'm using it, but not exactly what I've written down because I'll, that's private for obvious reasons. So um, again, I have actually, let me show you first, watercolored everything. This is an Ollie clip, snow, very cute. So I watercolored this um, when I did all my other planners. And incidentally, I used this Paul Rubens watercolor set, 24 colors, and they're glitter. It's glitter watercolor. Very inexpensive, but they really are beautiful. Highly recommend them. I've had this for a few years now. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you. Oops. All of months that I watercolored. It's very therapeutic and very relaxing to watercolor. And I only did it in the months sections. So there's that. And then And then what I will show you is how I'm actually using the month section now. Okay, so what I have been doing, and this is very important, is I, every day, I'll sit down with my journal. Let me get in a little closer. And I will do some self, positive self affirmations. And so I just write one down every single day. And this is about yourself, you know. And this is a practice we actually do in the One Little Word with Allie Edwards. Um, one of the prompts she usually has is, you know, 
talking to yourself in a positive manner. So, you know, sometimes we're really, really compassionate and empathetic with others, but we're highly critical of ourselves. So this is just a place where I can jot down a positive self-affirmation. It's not to be egotistical or anything of that nature, um, but it's just how you're talking to yourself should be in a positive way. So that is what I have here. And then in, in the section here where the, basically the month has finished, that's where I have written in the highlight. So positive self-talk highlight. So I'll pick whichever highlight, whichever day of the um, month stood out to me the most and I'll put that there. And then whatever lessons I learned you know, I was, let's say I opened myself up and I was vulnerable with so-and-so. And then their reaction to it wasn't what I had anticipated. So what lesson did I learn from that? Is that going to stop me from opening up or being vulnerable? No, it's not. It's just, you know, and I'm using this as a for instance, obviously, hypothetically, um, it's just the lesson that you learn from your ex own experiences, you know, in a positive light and how to, you know, move on and navigate from there, right, for an outcome that you f might find better. So that is how I really utilize that. And I actually do it. But um, like I said, I'm not going to, I'm going to just open that up so you can see I have it written down. And you can kind of see through the pages that I am writing because you can kind of see the ghosting through the pages. So I've been really enjoying this practice. And then here are the weeks section. Okay. Now this is for January 31st and starts February 1st so we're not there yet so this is a blank but I've um, actually put in how I've been doing it so I just need to I haven't set this up for the year because if I want to tweak this I want to be able to but I will set it up for the month right like I've done um, with this so how I'm using this is actually so much fun. I really enjoy this. So this is my weekly section and I have positive self affirmations at the top. So again, I go in and I do a positive self affirmation, something, you know, that I want to start doing. Being kinder to myself is one of them, you know and not so harsh and critical with myself because you know sometimes that happens right and it's not good so um that is time number two that i do this on a daily basis so then i have my highs and i have high of the day and my lows of the day so whatever stood out the most that i really liked and my least favorite thing that happened and then here on the sidebar, because there's plenty of room, I put my well-being to do, my thoughts, basically my thoughts at the end of the week of, out of everything that happened and I have written down, and my thoughts about it. Um, and then in this bottom section, this is not geared towards any dates or anything, but I took these prompts out of one of my books that I showed you and the categories are physical, psychological, emotional, social, professional, environmental, religious, which I added on my own, and financial. This could be spiritual. Um, if you don't practice the religion, you could have spiritual there. So physical, like an example for me, maybe drink more water, um, add lemon and mint to my water, more movement, practicing keto. So that is something for myself that I can do that would have a positive outcome. So I've added examples under each section of things I really want to work on. Okay. 
And then psychological. Um, positive self-compassion is one of the things that I want to practice. And that is what I am implementing. And then I have another example, unplugging when necessary. Okay, emotional, check in with myself. Um, and then like living based on, you know, sunnah. Um, and then for social, making connections, um, doing different things like that. Professional, just keeping up with continuing education and as per usual <laughs> i've been in the same field for a very long time decades <laughs> it's just something we do and i enjoy it and then environmental declutter um, rearrange the furniture it could be something just as simple as rearranging the layout of your room you know um and then religious so praying um, Ikra al Mushaf, Dua al Yomi, making supplication, reading your religious book, or whatever it is that you choose, if it's spiritual or what have you. Um, and then financial, having a budget, saving, no spend, things like that. So, that, these are just little reminders of things that I can do to help improve my life. So I like having that. And then from week to week, you can change that or keep it the same and just jot down what you actually did. Like re let's say I decided to rearrange the bedroom um, or um, remove the TV from the bedroom. How about that? But that's, you know, not going to happen because sometimes you need to watch the news or whatever. But anything like that, you know, um, is actually what I would write here. So I hope that I explained that okay. And then here we go. Ta-da! This is the beginning of my monthly section for the day days. Okay, so what I've done is I've just broken this down. So these are my monthly wellness goals. And how I chose to do this is I put projects here just to utilize the space since I put a sticker. It can be rearranged in any number of ways. So I put projects here and then I put my plan of action because I do follow the David Allen method loosely um, of getting things done. Um, so I like to have a plan of action. These are any actions that you do to take you a step closer to meeting your actual goals. So what are my goals? Let's say um, here is one of them. I'll just give you an example. Touching my well-being journal each and every day. Meal prep is key to doing keto. Another example. So plan of action. And staying on top of up to date on my one little word and um, class and prompts. So what, how am I going to get to that goal? What am I going to do? My plan of action for one little word. Listen to one little word lectures monthly, every month, and set time aside every week to work on prompts and play catch up with 2021, etc. Okay? And then for this goal, touching my which is this per personal development guided journal. I want to schedule myself, leave 30 minutes every day to do all of my journaling. Now that not only includes this, but my other journals as well. Um, and then how is this goal going to come to fruition? Take the time once a week to menu plan and meal prep. So that is how I'm going to get to there. What projects do I have as a whole? One little word, my journals, keto, and I even added reading to this. So every month, I'll just set that up just like so. And then for the, the entirety of the year, I have Louise L. Hay quotes that I have written in. I do this every year and I've been doing it for many, many years. I have them all written in at the bottom and some of them like books that I read if they have something in them that does not pertain 
um, and jive, so to say, with my personal values, I just tweak it a little bit and because I, let's say I love the concept of this idea, but I tweak it in order for it to, you know, meet my own lifestyle, okay? So here, at this section, in this section, I've, I've done this and I've been doing it. So let me show you a blank one. Okay, now this is, happens to be February, right? Okay, so you can see it's this is just the Hobonichi pencil board, by the way. And I've been doing this, so let's just go to the blank one. And how I set this up is I have feelings. So I have a little spot right here, and I just put on this area whatever feelings that I'm experiencing that are at the top of my, in the top of my mind. And then here I put a grounding routine. So it basically goes things I put notice. I'll show you here. I put notice and I use my fountain pen for this section. And I use this Sharpie to do all these different boxes. You don't necessarily have to do that. I just think it's cool the way the page looks. Um, so it's inviting to me. So feelings and then I ground myself and notice so then it'll be five four three two one okay so five things i can see four things i can feel uh three things i can hear two things what was the other one let me see <laughs> i can smell two things i can smell and then one thing about yourself goes at the bottom Okay, so that's how I utilize that. And I usually just use whatever fountain pen I happen to be using. Um, I have a little pen pouch um, at my bedside. so. Um, but I do use the Jack Arabin ink in this because it is um, scented and it's just gorgeous. So it's violet. Beautiful. So um, for the headers, I actually use just use a mild liner and I make the section and then after that I'll write on it with my fountain pen. Okay, and then I use a different color fountain pen here in this section and then a different fountain pen when I'm actually doing the work. Okay, and then this actually mirrors this because when I'm setting up this book, I can see through the page. Let me get a blank blank like for instance this sharpie s gel it goes through the page so i'm gonna set it up like this and just go over it with the ghosting so i don't have to count spaces and then i can just see it on this side and i press hard enough where there's an indentation here um, that i set this page up from that so this is an actual mirror image, okay? As you can see, there are the houses, but the house should be on the left side, as you can see. But since it's easier, because like I said, it goes through the pages, and then I can feel it. So I just follow, and I can see an indented line. So that is how I set that up, and it's pretty easy, and I don't use a ruler or anything. But I just dig the way it looks on the page, so that's how I set it up but you don't have to buy it at all. So anyway, so um, my other boxes are nurture. How am I gonna nurture myself every day? Um, and this is basically, if your cup is full, you can serve other people better, you know? But if your cup is empty, you don't have any much to give, you know what I mean? So you need to take care of yourself in order to take care of others, right? That's the concept here. And I just put nurture in. This was um, one of my one little word words. Word of the year was nurture. I do believe in 2018. Um, at anyway, so it could be something as simple as taking a bubble bath or shampooing your hair and doing a face mask or whatever it is. You know, whatever small thing because there's only 24 hours a day. 
And if you work full time, <laughs> you know, your time is very limited, right? And if you work overtime, it's even more stretched thin. So, you know, for me, I have to really plan things out. Otherwise, it's just chaos. <laughs> so that is why I set myself up for success in this way. Okay, and then, so that's nurture, and then charity, sadaka. What am I going to do in this every single day? And charity can be a whole variety of different things. It just doesn't have to be on the monetary side. Um, and for me, and a lot of my friends, we believe, we don't want to show that like when you're giving something in order to um, not be boastful or showing off like a show off and to be humble and not be an egotistic maniac <laughs> or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. I don't, there's a saying and it goes, you give so that way the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is giving. And then, you know, it's for the right reason, right? Because when people are, if you give, like, if you're at a gala or something like that, right? It's just normal in our society to say X, Y, Z did this and gave this amount, right? And sometimes that can go to a person's head, right? So we want to avoid that by giving so that way... The right hand doesn't know the left hand is giving. And then there's no question of your nia, your sincerity, your intention behind why you gave. Okay? And that can be, let's say there's someone who lives by themselves and they're lonely, you know? And you just so happen to go visit them and you brought them a casserole or something, you know, just to be neighborly. Um... That is, can be charity, you know. Or if you're passing by someone else, you can just smile at them. Maybe that will just cheer them up and make their day. Because you have to try to be put yourself in other people's shoes. You don't know what the other person is dealing with and what they're going through. They could be going through a health issue or a whole number of different things, right? And... Just a little kindness goes a long way a lot. Um, you know, sometimes sickness or illness brings out the worst. And sometimes it can bring out the best in people. So you're going to get a whole variety of different things. Just depending on the individual, you just never know. And anyway. So let's say, you know, you just want to be... Do a little something extra for, you know, maybe your co-worker or whatever. And they're having a hard time with something. So you go visit them. You smile at them. You write them a letter in snail mail, right? And, you know, for just no reason, just to check on them and see how they're doing. That can really make someone's day bright, right? So sadaka charity can be a whole variety of different things, so... Every day I want to be sure that I'm doing that. Now, here is the last and my favorite final category. And this is in the shape of a house. How are you going to build your house in Jenna? What can I... And that means heaven, basically. Um, what can you do to get to heaven, right? Um, let's say you pray. You want to be sure that you have kushu. Kush you know, pardon my Arabic, obviously. I'm not a native speaker, but <laughs> if you're my one of my in-person friends, you get used to it, and I try my very best to pronunciate things properly. So, enjoy. <laughs> anyway, um, like kushu, it means, um, like, focus. You want to focus when you're praying. That could be one thing, you know, that you're trying to do to improve yourself. Um, you could want to pray on time. Maybe you're always late because you're at work or whatever, you know. And there are 
nasty people out there. They'll tell you, go pray in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, what? Excuse me? Like, this is 2022. You better dial that back. But anyway, um, it happens. There's a lot of um, people out there that are just not good. So, you just don't know. Right? I've heard all kinds of things. So, anyway, let's say, what else What else can I do? Um, so, I could do charity, which is over here. I could Ikra al Mushaf. Make sure I do that, because if you leave it for a day... There's, there's a saying about that. I'm not a Hothith or, you know... A scholar or anything like that but um, if you leave it for a day it's like leaving it for a week something along those lines I'm sure you guys know or if it's a hadith or something um, so you want to do that as much as you can every day even if it's just one ayah or one paragraph or one verse or whatever and you know that could be one thing you can do. Um, doing good deeds for other people. Like I was saying in the, the charity. You could. This is how you can build, build your house in heaven. Right? Because you know. That's important at least for me. And my friends. You know. We want to do the best we can. Um, so we can build our house. And have a better house in Jenna, right? So anything like that along those lines, um, you can make dawa. There's a lot of that. People always are very open and free with me because I make them comfortable, you know, in my life. And so people are always asking me all different kinds of questions. Um, you know, so you could do that. Um, what else like anything um praying on time like i said just things of that nature being kind to your neighbors being kind to someone by just giving them a call and checking in on them because not everybody has eight kids right some people aren't married some people live alone or they have to work all these hours and they can't make it in to be around other people um so you just don't know what's going on with them but just a phone call is a, like a really good deed and you know just something like that so it's so easy and you know it costs nothing but uh um you know one reward is like you can delete a sin by a certain deed that you do that's good and there's also a hadith about that you can look that up in sahih bukhari um but anyway so that's very important for me because you know being with what i do i know that life is very fragile and it can change in an instant and i see that every day for almost the last 30 years so i really keep that in my mind so that I have set up for every single day. Okay? And I'm not done even setting up February all the way, as you can see. But I just do little bits at a time until I'm finished with the month, setting it up. And then I'll make the little highlighted sections. You know, I'll do all of that next after I get my outlines made. And then I'll go in with my fountain pen. So that is how I use that. But regardless of what you believe in, you can set this up in a different way. You could just set this up. The, instead of this box being saying Jannah, heaven, you could set this up for your reading list. You know, reading. How do I want to do self-improvement to myself? You know, because there's a lot of people out there that are secular, you know. So they don't necessarily have a religion um so anyway you could use that space for that instead there is an idea and like i said these books are chock-a-bock full of great personal development ideas okay i will link them below i know that one of these was available and one wasn't on amazon at the time 
that I ordered these, but um, because like I said, these I got off of. <sighs> this was published in 2020, and then this one was published. Let's see. in 2021 and this one I think yeah this one was available um, yeah um, on Amazon so it's probably available still and there another good author you can check out is Brene Brown she has tons of books I highly recommend her as well so with that is my daily the thing that I, the things that I do in this journal each and every day I touch this no matter how exhausted I am from work or whatever and you know if you're in the medical field you can work like 16 17 hours by the time you get home okay in one day and how exhausting that is but that's that but I still touch this. And if I don't touch it on that day, maybe the following day I will touch this. But I definitely keep up with it. If I can't, then I will do it at the end of the week, everything. But I will definitely at least jot a few things down for the day. Um, so that is my setup. If you guys like what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I hope this gives you ideas to set up your own personal development journal. Whether you have a fancy notebook or not, it does not matter. All you need is a 20 cent um, spiral notebook from Staples and a pencil. And anyone can have access to that. So... I wish you well, and good luck to you folks, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye!